So this first tool here is a small anvil. We can use this for flattening and dimpling pieces of metal. This next tool is a hole punch. Uh, the, the main method that this is used for is to actually punch specifically sized circles out of metal. Much, it's much easier than cutting them out with a saw. This next tool here is used for doming circles of metal. So we can create concave or convex uh, pieces of metal that, will, uh, that can add depth and 3D qualities to your metal projects. So this first demonstration, we're going to show a couple different things we can do with the small anvil. And we have two hammers we're going to use uh, for this demonstration. The first one is a ball-peen hammer with a small rounded tip. And the second hammer is a rawhide hammer or a soft hammer. Um, the rawhide hammer can be used to shape metal, uh, but because it's made out of rawhide and it's soft, it will not dent the metal. The ball-peen hammer we can use to actually dimple or create a ripple effect on the surface of the metal. So first we'll start with the soft hammer. and We have a rounded piece of metal. Sometimes you may have situations where your metal bends in the wrong direction. What we can simply do is use the flat surface on the anvil along with the soft hammer to slowly pound and re-flatten areas of the metal. So the next thing we can do with the ball-peen hammer and that small anvil is we can dimple the surface of metal so it'll create a rippled effect to it. So using the smaller rounded tip of the ball-peen hammer, we can go over the surface so that it creates a rippled or dimpled effect to the surface. All right, the next tool we're going to demonstrate is the hole punch. Now we can use this to punch out different sized circles in our metal for a perfect circle shape. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is we're on this hard surface table which prevents um, any bouncing. We're also going to keep these pieces on this rubber base here um, so that it prevents any bouncing as well. Now this central piece here twists and it will open up the two pieces of the tool. We can slip our metal inside of that area. Once we do that and it's aligned, we will slowly tighten this down, trapping the metal inside. Next we'll find the appropriate piece that fits inside the hole. And the tip should be slightly sharpened and kind of tilted to one side. This is the top part that's actually going to go down head first into the hole. This area is the back side we'll be pounding on. So we'll insert that. The hammer we use for this is the brass hammer. It's extremely heavy and it gives enough force so that we can drive this through the metal. When you're doing this, you want to brace your hand on top of the tool and then slowly pound on top. Once this drops through, you can lift this up and then you'll have your circle punched out. The next tool we have here is the doming tool. So you can see various tips of various sizes um, and then we have the second piece here that we're actually doming the metal inside of. So the idea is you're going to take a circle which you've punched out and we can place it inside one of these areas, find the appropriate sized piece to go along with it. We will place that on top and then simply using this, the heavy brass hammer pound what this is going to do is force the metal into that shape. So now we have a domed, rounded piece of metal that we can add to our design.